Today in the episode, we will witness the main confrontation in domestic football between Astana and Kairat. We will talk with the first person from Kazakhstan who signed a contract with UFC American promotion, Shafkat Rakhmano, and the trainer Ilya Matveev will take us into the world of water polo. Dear friends, welcome to Astana Arena Stadium to the match of Kazakhstan Premier League between Astana and Kairat teams, Derby of two capitals. It would not be wrong to say that it is the main showdown in Kazakhstan football today. We have a whole hour before the match starts. People are only coming onto the stands. We are starting. So briefly about the upcoming match. Derby between Astana and Kairat teams is a confrontation of the same level of intensity as matches between Real Madrid and Barcelona in Spain or between Arsenal and Chelsea in England. But today's match is quite special because for the first time in years, several rounds before the end of the championship, Astana, which is not the leader of the league tables, gives way to Kairat just for a few points. Kairat is a more remnant club with a solid history that dates back to the USSR championship. We have already mentioned about modern base of the club and children's academy in one of our episodes. But the latest successes of Kazakhstan football are connected with the Capitals club. An ambitious project called Astana was established only 10 years ago. It became the team that has been taking golden medals of the championship over the past five seasons and has successfully represented the country in European arena. Overall, 38 matches were held between these teams. Astana already has 17 victories, while Armati residents were more successful in 11 games. The draw was recorded in other 10 matches. Today, fans can be divided into three camps. First of them are the fans of Astana team. There they are, active from the first minutes. On the opposite side, we have fans of Kairat team. There is also a third category of fans. These are the people who came for emotions, enjoy a beautiful game, and it is likely that two teams will fully meet their expectations. Most likely that this year Kairat will become a champion, but we must win at the domestic level. Such games as Astana Kairat are always a kind of serious match. In this type of confrontation, it is very difficult to identify the winner. It seems to me that today we have more motivation than Astana. Astana is now working on several fronts while we are focusing exclusively on the championship and I believe that we will achieve the goal this year. This is a desired victory of us because we believe in our team. Do you see how many Kairat fans are here? A team with such support should definitely win. Today, at least beautiful football and, at the most, Astana should win here, because this is our field. Now the teams are tied practically, but Kairat is slightly ahead of us due to the fact that Astana plays on several fronts, while Kairat on two, club and national team. <laughs> Who will win today? Today, Astana will win anyway. Why? What are the reasons? Because Astana are champions, every year we get the first place and today we will prove it. Since we are moving around a special technical area where only media and clubs representatives have access to, we were asked to wear such shirts. Thus, I will be in the red one. The referee signaled and the game began. By the way, a little more than 16,000 people came to watch this match for Kazakhstan football, it is a very solid number, because the majority of games do not even have 5,000 audiences. But while we were busy with counting the number of fans, Astana took the lead. <laughs> that was strong and most of all precise top corner goal. Famous goal from the team's top scorer of this season, Marin Tomasa. The hosts managed to score a quick goal and now they have taken waiting tactics. Astana, to a greater extent, is in its half of the field. Kairat is quite active, but the capital team's counterattacks are very dangerous. Being at the very edge of the field is especially interesting. You may have a feeling that you're also part of the game. Nearby, fans of the Capitals team create an atmosphere corresponding to this match. The first 45 minutes ended for us very quickly. 
probably because the match has completely captured our attention. Even the Kyra coach noted the status of the Kazakhstan Derby after the match. It is probably the most spectacular match in the championship, both in terms of atmosphere as well as level of the game. I wanted to take a detached view of this. France, the first half of the game is over. The score is still 1-0. After a magnificent goal by Marine Tomasa, Kairat was actively moving forward, but either Nenad Erich or the defenders of the host team acted firmly. The second half, as expected, started with attacks from Kairat. Baujan Islam Khan, player of the Kazakhstan national team, was quite remarkable. The whole game went well thanks to him. But contrary to expectations, the goal was again scored by Astana. This time the goal scorer was Sergei Kizhnichenko. It took him a long time to return to the football after the injury, but now he's getting in a good shape. It looks like the game calmed down a little bit after the second goal. Those have taken their time and confidently acted in defense. Kairat coach urgently needs to change something in this game because the ball has not reached the attacker yet. As soon as we said it out loud, the Armity had an excellent attack. Making a corner kick, they returned the intrigue to the game again. They scored a goal. Now it is 2-1. At the end of the match, Kairat looked more interesting than Astana, but luck on that day was obviously on the host side. Several times Nenad Eric helped out the team, but at the very end of the match, Astana made it clear about who will be today's winner. Rangelo Junga came out from a technical area and set the final score. 3-1 with a victory of Astana. Kairat played just as good as other team, but they did not have enough luck today. I believe that we played better, but in the second half of the game their experience had benefited them. We kept on trying, but we could not score in the end. Although there were several great moments in the second half, it is okay. Life goes on, the guys are upset, we need to cheer up. We still have three games left, while Astana has another four matches. Therefore, nothing has been decided yet. Firstly, all of the teams should win, but the champion will become the one who is the strongest. Most of all, everything is in our hands. It is the most important thing. There are situations when you depend on someone, especially in the last rounds, you need someone else to lose points. We are in a situation in which we must win and everything will be fine. This match fully met the fans' expectations, except that the Kairat fans left upset. Astana proved that it was early to take them out of the championship hopes. Further in the episode, we have a big interview with Shafkat Rachmanov about the contract with UFC and popularity of MMA in Kazakhstan. 24-year-old Shafkat Rachmanov became the first person from Kazakhstan to sign a contract with the famous UFC American Mixed Martial Arts promotion. Now Rachmanov has 12 fights and 12 victories. Moreover, he ended all of his fights ahead of schedule. Today we'll try to find out what is the secret of such successful career as a fighter. Shafkat, welcome. How are you? How's the preparation going? I'm doing great. Preparation is just getting started. I'm getting in a good shape as well. I rested a lot and recovered from my injuries. When did the specific talk with the UFC begin and how did the negotiation process go? I did not participate directly in negotiations. I have my manager, Sayat Abdrakmanov. He contacted and we started working with them about a year ago. Over the past six months, this corporation has been going dynamically in order to sign the contract faster. When they signed the contract with you, what did you feel? Relief or excitement? What have you experienced? I was happy for sure, the first person from Kazakhstan to sign a contract with the UFC. I think fans are even more excited than me that someone from Kazakhstan will take part in the UFC. Other types of promotion are not taken seriously as most people in Kazakhstan are interested only in the UFC. How many fights will you have under this contract? 
I have not even read my contract yet. My manager signed it for four fights. Is it known when and with whom will be the closest match? The UFC wanted me to participate at a tournament in Moscow on the 9th of November. But I was not that well prepared, as I had received my treatment. I had just a little time for preparation. It is better to take my time and go out with good preparation for fights. I have already signed my contract and do not have to rush. Shafkat, you were born in Uzbekistan, but you are the Kazakh by nationality. I was born in the city of Shochi in Uzbekistan. I lived there until I was 16 to 17 years old and then came to Kazakhstan. My father is Kazakh. He is a representative of the junior Jews from the Alim family group. I consider myself as a pure Kazakh. But if I were an Uzbek, I would be proud of that as well and played for Uzbekistan. How does the family react to your fighting? Now she no longer watches them as she worries about me. But before we were married, she watched them. When you moved to Kazakhstan, what were you doing at first? I worked to feed myself. Every day I earned for my food. I just worked as a loader. Generally, I am from a simple family. We did not have the opportunity to study as we had to work. That is, the issue was in finances. Yes, there were some difficulties. And because of them, we had to move to Kazakhstan. I did not even think that I would ever move here. As we had some family problems in Uzbekistan, we had to move here. But in any case, you would go in for professional wrestling. I was interested since my childhood as I wanted to become an athlete. I started to train seriously after I arrived in Kazakhstan. Probably it is the fate to perform on behalf of Kazakhstan. It is a great honor to me to raise the Kazakhstan flag since I am Kazakh. Was this period difficult for you when you first arrived, started to train and work? Yes, there were some times when people did not want to hire me even as a simple loader. At the beginning they said that I did not know how to work, why they had to take me. But I worked for a year and became a professional loader. Then everyone wanted to work with me. The same situation in trainings. If you are a beginner, there is just a little you can do. If you keep on trying, you will learn more things. Talented people are very lazy and I have already met such people in my life. If you have talent and will work on yourself, you can achieve a lot of things. That is what the work means. I do it every day and I am showing these results. If I did not make such efforts, I would be just a simple fighter. When did you want to practice mixed martial arts for the first time? I was in Uzbekistan. We started to watch fights on the DVDs. There were different prides and I had a lot of DVDs. Not everyone had such discs at that time. I bought those discs and watched them, then practiced techniques a lot. No one could beat me as I watched all of those tapes and learned to do combat techniques. There was a big interest, but there is no such interest in watching fights nowadays. People prefer to go to training instead. But then it was not so widely available, that is why I always bought discs to watch. Fyodor Yemelyaninko, Miko Krokop, they were my idols. I looked at them and thought when I would... Ashibka? I looked at them and thought when I would be like them. You did boxing and sambo in parallel. It turns out that my path began with the Uzbek wrestling. I was a little boy at that period of time. Then I tried boxing as well as Thai boxing. I started to win regional competitions. I became the third at the Republican competitions as well. I continued my training after I came to Kazakhstan. However, at the same time I had to work in parallel. There were several defeats, but I had more victories as well. Could you tell me about your family and your children? I got married when I was 22 years old. I already have two daughters. Do they know what their dad is doing? I think they are too young to know. You have become the youngest champion among MMA amateurs. How did this happen? 
Fought and won. I was very happy. I did not even expect this victory. All victories are not for nothing. All your victories are rarely victories. Not all victories are rarely among amateurs, but they are so among professionals. Don't you have a goal to complete all of your fights ahead of schedule? I want to feel the opponent. It is not possible always to win ahead of schedule. Of course it is a great feeling. Without argument, you won and that's it. Have you been thinking about a technical area? Which sphere should you go to if you can't do sports anymore? No, I had no such thoughts. I'm just minding my own business. I really wanted to achieve something. I still would not have the opportunity to prove myself in a different field except for sports. Are fees growing for every fight? Yes, of course. Now I have quite good fees and I am able to support my family. Once it was very hard for me to do so. I remember that one time I ate only dumplings while living in Kokshetau, mainly because there was no money and salary was very small. I lived with a coach for a month and I am grateful for this to my coach, Bayan Jangana. As you start going up, the incomes are growing as well. I cannot say that I earn a lot now, but it is enough for me and my family. Who made the greatest contribution to your formation as a fighter? My coach is Bayan Jangalov now. He personally helped me a lot. But I had many trainers and I do not want to offend anyone. I am always grateful to every coach I had the opportunity to work with. This is the reason why I am leaving them, because I need to grow. I want to show the result. If I was trained as an amateur, then I did not have the need to change coaches. I still want to learn a lot of things. Do you keep in touch with your rivals? Do you somehow communicate after fights? It happens sometimes that with some rivals we communicate very well after fights. He also understands that it is our job to enter the ring, fight and then to shake hands. Who is the most difficult opponent among professionals? The most difficult fight was in 2016 in Korea against a local wrestler. I was really sick then and actively received my treatment before the fight. I took antibiotics as well that strongly affect the joints. I decided not to give much attention to this and continue my training. The weather also surprised me. I came and could not breathe there. It was extremely hot and sultry. Moreover, I still had a thyroid problem. But I won that fight ahead of schedule. And if I hadn't strangled it, it would be very difficult for me. What is your main advantage in the octagon? I cannot say that I have certain advantages. Everyone is training, everyone is doing well. But you are stronger in stance than in the fight. It is because we have no wrestlers to fight with. The fight will be weak if there are no worthy sparrings. At the same time, it will not be taken seriously if I fight with rookies. However, there is a different level in Russia and the USA. They practice and fight differently. They have a slightly higher level. In Kazakhstan there are no problems with striking techniques, but the fighting ones have to be developed by many, including me. When you enter the octagon, what do you feel? I always feel pain. Actually, much depends on the mood. I go out with the aim to win. I always try to get out no matter in what type of situation I am. Someone gives up quickly. Someone fights to the last. All fighters are different. Why is MMA getting so popular in Kazakhstan? Because it is very interesting. Here all kinds of sports can be put together. You can beat with your feet or with your hands. Who can compete with an MMA fighter? Boxer. If he fights literally, he will lose. If the kickboxer fights with us, we could do the armbar. Then he loses as well. If a jiu-jitsu fighter comes out, we won't let him fight and could beat him in a stance. Thus, MMA is considered as one of the most versatile sports. It is also interesting to watch fights, which is why it is so popular in Kazakhstan.
you can be defeated at any time. How much time a week do you exercise? The training is six times a week, almost two to three times a day. How do you spend your free time? In my free time, I like to be with my family, play with my children. I love to be at home. Thank you for the interview. Thank you too. Further in the episode, water polo trainer Ilya Matveev will tell us how this sport is developing in the capital of Kazakhstan. Four bassins, delfin. Руки дельфин, ноги брас. Первые. Water polo is the only game on the water that is why it is so popular. The number of people willing to try water polo in this capital section is quite bigger than the number this facility could accept. The team is called Astana and today there are about 400 children in its structure. This is one of the base clubs for Kazakhstan junior team of water polo. Water polo in Kazakhstan is developing very dynamically. There were much fewer teams if we look at how it was five years ago. Now almost every region, every city has its own water polo team. Overall it is about 10 to 12 teams. You just have to come and sign up to enter our club. We recruit children from 7 years old. We're recruiting a lot of children due to the fact that not everyone can get into the team. They are being selected. For instance, if we have 100 recruited people, only 30 to 40 of them will be able to get into the team. And in the future, if an athlete enters the team, then he or she will train for free. As a rule, trainers look at coordination of movements, flexibility offered to swim and play with the ball. Rather important aspects are height and weight of the future athlete. Even 17 to 18 years ago, the development of water polo seemed very problematic. The country simply lacked pools and qualified specialists. Now Kazakhstan has a strong team which last year won the Asian Games and became Team of the Year according to the National Olympic Committee. These guys definitely have someone to look up to. Water polo gives young people a cohesion. This is a true team fighting spirit. Besides this, it is very good physical features as they do swimming. There are exercises that are not found in any water sports. We give a great attention to the legs, as it is very important, they must be strong. Also tactics, as we have to play and think in parallel. This is some kind of chess in the water. Exercises in water have a good effect on body. In water polo, an intensive load is also added to a normal swimming. So all muscle groups, respiratory and cardiac systems are working as well. As a result, strength and endurance grows while the body stability increases. There are a lot of pluses, including minimal costs. We have support from the Federation, Sport Administration as well as Akimat. They help us a lot. They provide us with a swimming pool, a gym, trips to competitions and uniforms. We also attend training camps. The last gathering was in the summer, we went to Montenegro. We took out the children since Montenegro is some kind of forge of the talents and Olympic champions. Serbia, Montenegro, we are training and taking an example from them. In general, if you want a dose of adrenaline for your health, welcome to the water polo. Here you can show your excellent physical shape by swimming around 3 kilometers in 4 periods and enjoy the team game. The video of the week completes our today's episode. The strangest race that the US Capitals racetrack ever had was held in Washington. Employees of one of the local companies in Tyrannosaurus costumes ran out onto the racetrack instead of horses. Among 25 people in clumsy suits, only one fell, while the remaining participants increased the high speed. Dinosaur number 13 was the winner of this race. 